Hey, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, your incredible host. Well, as you can see, today is Friday and it is my back day. And this ends my six-week program that I put together. For six weeks, I've done one movement per body part the same movement per body part for the whole six weeks. What that means is Mondays I do legs. For this program on my leg day I only used my compact hack squat machine. On Tuesday is chest day I only used my Smith machine to do flat bench. On Wednesday is my arm day. I did dumbbell concentration curls and one dumbbell, two arm skull crushers where you lay down and you have one dumbbell and you're holding it with both hands. Thursdays, I do shoulders. And on that day, my movement of choice this whole six weeks has been the sitting dumbbell press. And on Fridays, my movement of choice was the Bent Smith Machine Row. Now, I did manage to get a few personal bests this week. I went ahead and pushed myself a little bit to make sure that I could end this program on a high note. Now, my leg day... I didn't really get any PRs because I've only got so much weight that I can put on my compact hack squat machine. I only have 490 pounds of weight. But I did manage to do plenty of sets and plenty of reps and high reps and low reps and utilize everything that I had during this entire uh, program that I put together. On my chest day, where I'm doing the Smith Machine Flat Bench Press, I did manage to push out uh, 287 pounds, I'm sorry, for two reps, and then I did another set of one rep. For arms, for biceps, I didn't really get any PRs, but I did get some good workouts in with high reps and low reps and lots of sets, and I even used my TENS Therapy Machine on my left arm a couple of different times just to stimulate my arm movement a little bit. I do have bad arms, so uh, I use the TENS therapy machine to help uh, loosen up some of the muscles and the tendons and ligaments and get things kind of flowing and pump up my arms a little bit more while I did some of my workouts. For triceps on the same day, Uh, I did get a PR with the Skull Crusher. I did use the 100-pound dumbbell, and uh, I only pushed out, I believe, five reps because I got a little bit nervous of the dumbbell. Um, They are welded. uh, They're adjustable uh, screw-on type handles, and and I've had them uh, welded and kind of modded to where they're nice, but I I didn't really trust the, the welds holding that much weight over my head. And uh, I could have easily got a, a set of 10. So, but I, I stopped at five. On shoulders, I made myself real happy on that day. I did get a PR and uh, with the dumbbells. And I've only got dumbbells that go uh, from 50 and then it skips all the way up to 80. And then I have 100s. So in order to do something more than 80, I did the crazy thing. And I taped a five pound weight on each end of the 80 pound dumbbells, which got them up to 90 pounds. So I did a set of, I believe, six reps, possibly four, but I believe maybe six. And uh, that was amazing. That felt great. I was really proud of myself on that day. Uh, I I believe before long that I could probably uh, get some 100s up if I can get them up. And today you'll notice I'm doing back, of course, and I don't know if I really hit any PRs, but as you can see, if you watch the video, I do go up quite a bit over 300 pounds. And yes, 
my range of motion is not great. My form isn't great. But the thing you want to experience and do when you work out is push yourself beyond your limits in a safe and controlled way. Eventually, you kind of learn your body and what you can do. And in this situation, I, I know kind of what I can do and I feel comfortable uh, even whenever I'm really stressing and straining with weights like that. And it's good to tax your body and it gets your body and your mind and everything used to moving that amount of weight. So eventually, hopefully down the road, you can do at least one really good rep with that high amount of weight. And from there, you slightly, slowly move up to two reps and three reps. And by the time you get to about six to eight reps, you're ready to add another five or 10 pounds and start all over again. And that's how you progress. That's how you progress with all of your movements as slowly and safely as you can and listen to your body and learn yourself. And, uh, and, and that's how you progress. So just to touch base on, uh, on my back workout that I just did today, uh, I did manage to go up to the heaviest of 347 pounds, and I did get one horrible uh, rep. I did try 367, but I didn't really budget, and you'll, if I leave that part in this video, you'll actually see it. Uh, but I did get one rep with 347, and it wasn't the greatest, but... Again, you got to move heavy weights to progress. And then I did slowly go back down to 287 for three reps and then 217 for six reps and 197 for 10 reps. And then at the end, I did a nice burnout with 147 for 15 reps. So overall, uh, this six weeks challenge has been really interesting for me. Now, it's something that I threw together. I don't know if I've ever seen or heard anyone else doing something like this. But it's something that just came to my mind one day, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to do that. Uh, for one, uh, let me go ahead and tell you the reason behind it. It's kind of to pinpoint what each of these movements is doing for that body part. Case in point, let's say you're doing chest, and you do flat bench, and you do incline bench, and you do some flies, and you do a, you know, a couple of other things. For your chest, you know, you're using cables and free and free weights and, and machines and other different things. So the, the thing is, is how do you know what each movement's doing if you're doing so many different movements? So I wanted to kind of break it down and do an experiment and just kind of see how I felt with one movement and how that one movement worked that one muscle for six weeks. Now, I chose six weeks because I figured that would just be a, a nice amount of time to give me the best results and, you know, give me something to kind of work off of. Now, in order to get some real world science out of this and, you know, experiments, you would really need to take like three or four movements per body part and actually do this. Do each of those movements for six weeks and then do this movement for six weeks and that movement for six weeks. And, and then at the end of all that, possibly try to compare how each one hit differently and uh, how you felt and uh, what maybe you got the, the most uh, benefit from. So that would be the ideal way to do it, but I'm not going to go through all that. It's just kind of a little uh, experiment that I wanted to give myself. But uh, again, if you want to do something like that, hey, that's, uh, that, that's a good option, and that'll probably yield you better results. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed kind of following along. If you did, if not, hey, go back and check out my videos. Um, I put out a lot of content and a lot of positive content, and we cover everything uh, fitness-related, and it's really for the average people all the way up to the pros and whoever wants to take part. Uh, the community is only as strong as those who take part. Uh, we cover general fitness, working out, walking, cycling. Uh, we have um, different things that we might discuss from mental health, depression, anxiety, epilepsy, different things like that, because they all revolve, revolve around health and fitness. And, uh, you know, it all, it all correlates to one another. So we're going to cut this video off here. I hope you've enjoyed everything. I hope you have a wonderful night. And uh, if you don't mind, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown, where we try every day to beat this old body down and make it just a little bit better. 
and uh, spread a little bit of joy and happiness while we're doing it. All right, guys. So inspire someone today. Inspire yourself because you matter more than anyone else out there. And don't forget, guys, get up, get out, get rad and do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get rad and do it to it.